Hello, hello, hello. I'm making a video in the afternoon. Got a little earlier start today. So, which is good. I also want to go to bed earlier. So, not stay up until midnight. That's not a good idea. So, I want to go to bed at 10 at least. Quit internet at 10 or no further than 10.30. So I'm making that commitment now to myself and you on this video here. But anyway, I want to talk about women oppression okay, throughout history and today, you know. So we had definitely as this as a species as the collective we had made progress and i can i am glad to say to to i am i think i can honestly say we because i consider myself part of that movement of women liberation and woman protection and women's rights okay so i'm definitely part of that i'm a woman's rights activist among other themes as well of course the animals are my number one clients of course but you know humans human rights of course as well you know and i'm not giving to charities because they're corrupt so human stuff charities. I helped once in Germany for half a year. I helped in a third world store as a volunteer with my boyfriend Norbert and that was quite nice. I didn't get along with the people. I finally quit. But so that project was good because they're like that was a project where they would go into the third world, the people from Germany, and they would help them, they would create a workspace like a tea plantation or other plant growing, perfume making, teas, herbal remedies, stuff like that, where they give them really good and fair payments for their work, okay, fair wages, like what they call, they have a, a word for that, fair trade, so they were really, and they were also about educating the public, they were, they would give these people free education, they would teach them different things, they would teach them how to grow plants, so that was a really good thing, and that I support anytime, okay, so Whatever makes the world better, I will be on board of it, you know. And even Bill Gates, who is, who has been very corrupt, I think, that's what I believe, he is now, he's buying land to grow food, and he wants to phase out meat agriculture. So now, that gets my respect. You know, so that's very good. So, uh, I guess he wants to. I, you know, that's also again. You know, he wants to monopolize the. The plant. Subs the 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 plant meat. You know, so he want to he wants to monopolize, the plant meat industry. So, well, but if he. If he's doing it, this to phase out meat, then I'll be on board of it. So then, you know, that's a big project, and maybe he, he deserves to monopolize it. I don't know. But it's never good to monopolize anything. But, but still, you know, he's trying to phase out meat agriculture, and that's a real, real, humongous step forward into the future. So I support him on that. And so whatever makes the world a better place. 
so what I want to talk about women oppression I still see this going on in the world particularly in Islam you know and countries like Germany Sweden Belgium Netherlands Holland Denmark northern European countries that have where the women and also many men helped to give to get to get egalitarian systems okay where we have equal rights we should we have the same brain power right we should have the same rights to all of these things that have to do with democracy with voting with giving your input with management you know having something to say women have equal brain power in that but they haven't been given that equal right in history okay throughout history and then feminism is relatively young you know it started somewhere in the 1800s you know Helena Petrovna Blavatsky and a few others are like really the pioneers in this. So Lou Andrea Salome, the, the girlfriend of Friedrich Nietzsche, yes, she was one of the women rights pioneers. She, she was one of the very early, the very, the, the one of the, the very strong, leading forces of feminism in the 1800s and it's very important you know they have done important work for us and the northern european countries were very much on board of that they are very they're very egalitarian were very egalitarian and they made things better Okay, so now here's the twist in all of this that and this is this is political correctness for you then comes like there are different phases like you know world wars Adolf Hitler different dictators around the world Adolf Hitler by the way was not the absolute worst there are worse ones there there were worse ones in history and Kim Jong-un is the absolute worst that I have ever seen, ever, 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 ever. Watch the documentary film on North Korea. I, I don't even know if he's still alive, but they will keep that regime going. They will lie to the public. They will say he's still alive. So they will keep this going because this is, this is like a snowball effect, you know. This, this totalitarian, ty tyrannical regime, really, really tyrannical. So, but yeah, Adolf Hitler was a tyrant too, and, and many others as well. And there are tyrants in Japan, and they have done horrible things to POWs from the United States. And the United States, have they have done horrible things to the Japanese, and to all kinds of people okay so let's always keep this in mind you know people I know they always want to use Adolf as the scapegoat he was not the absolute worst he's not the winner of the worst okay so he's not the devil as people want to think yes he was psychotic he was he was crazy you know he was he he dro he drove himself into ins into some kind of hate insanity. That's what I want to avoid in my life. I really do. So that's why you know, and I know how easily that can happen. You know. Of course, you know, people they feel like they feel Adolf Hitler felt victimized, believe it or not, you know, in his life he felt victimized by people who were smarter than him which were Jewish people, okay, so established Germans, many generations, 
Jewish people, some of them were still speaking like a, a, some kind of mixed German, like a Jiddish, which is a mix between Hebrew and German. Very cute language. And they are very successful people. They are highly intelligent people. Okay? And he felt victimized by them. He felt he felt excluded. He felt like, and maybe they did. Yeah. So maybe some of them have excluded him because I know that from Paul's mother, who who worked for a Jewish family in L.A. And they talk, They were talking like this openly on the dinner table with her there. They treated her well, but they said to each other, we only help other Jewish people. Right there. Dualism again, okay? And yeah, it comes from a history. They also, they had to fight hard to get their way to... They, I guess they were mixed with European, Middle Eastern people mixed with Europeans that have gone back into the Middle East, that have settled in that region of Jordan and, and Israel. So, and they felt, and there was always then, I don't know when that started, but probably many hundreds, for hundreds and hundreds of years where they they were mix, mixed they, they were in in the northern regions then they went back they 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 were part northern european part middle eastern highly intelligent highly successful hated you know people were jealous of them then they were they were treated badly they had to fight hard you know, so for their own existence and they helped each other it's understandable you know but then comes dualism you know. and out of this dualism comes more is that's a cascade of one feels victimized and will will be depersonalizing the other person yeah. so then in his view, the other person becomes less of a person, becomes a, a, an evil doer, becomes a villain. Here we have dualism. And this has ha been happening throughout human history, all the way to, I don't know, to Ita, the first tree climbing lemur that's on our lineage. So, you know. These kind of things, ego, dualistic worldview, has been observed in animals, has been observed in wolves even. Makes me sad to hear that. But yeah, that this, this behavior pattern, this energetic pattern has been observed. This is apparently, this is part of evolution. It's an, it's an elbow society, you know. The bigger guy eats the smaller guy. It's harsh, very harsh. And out of that, this is a trauma also. It's an energetic trauma. This goes way back. Then it becomes metaphysical. I'm not going to get into that detail now. I just want to focus right now on oppression and these kind of movements that are happening in society throughout history and and now we have you know we have all kinds of we had all kinds of modernizations happening with incredibly intelligent women standing up for other women so women are usually not as strong as men are i'm very strong i'm sure i'm not as strong as danny okay so I'm sure, I'm sure Danny can wrestle me to the ground, even if he's two inches shorter than than I am. And I am super. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a strong German lady, lifting eight gallon containers with one hand up onto the dryer. Okay, I do this almost. I do this like every other day or so. And I dread it. I don't like it. It's like, ah, uh, it's hard work. 
but I do it. And Paul could not do it. Okay. Paul could not wrestle me to the ground. I could wrestle him to the ground any time. But I'm sure that Danny could wrestle me down to the ground. Okay, so even though he's shorter than, than I am. So that's what it is with evolution. Unfortunately, the female is not as strong. You know, I guess the reason for that is because the girls, the mothers, they stay in the in the caves, they stay in their dwelling places, they take care of their babies, they take care of baby animals. This has been going on for a very long time, by the way. And this this interspecies love and mothership, okay. Women have nursed dogs with their boobs, so that happened many that happened for for thousands of years already okay. Th that's very beautiful and wonderful wonderful love is that so i would do that any time of course <laughs> so <laughs> yeah this is beautiful you know and then so obviously the woman the girl doesn't yeah they're more sedentary because they stay in the dwelling places why while the men and the boys go out to find food you know, they were hunters and gatherers mainly gatherers they gathered plant food like that was like 90 percent of the food that they eat today they're the carnivores self-identified they only eat meat which is not natural for the species this is, this is an omnivore species with like 10 percent animal food consumption okay. so and they had to work for it they had to exercise the women had to exercise too they were nomadic they had to walk a lot they did a lot they that was a very very labor intensive their lifestyles today with SSI money from taxpayers, meat for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, and dinner. Becoming 500 pounds, going under the knife, having bypass surgeries. Many don't make it. Yeah, that's another. That will happen again. Okay. But they pass on their genes before that happens. So if they didn't, then they, they would weed themselves out, right? but they don't. So it's actually the ones that are vegetarian that don't want the children that see, see the whole picture that say, oh, this is, this is a tough world. I don't want to put my child into this world. And it's unfortunately those that are in the decline. So. You can see it in Japan, you can see it in among the white Germans. I I was listening when I visited the last time I was listening to a an economics report on on radio and they said and I was like, Ooh, I fall right into that statistics, you know. So yeah, most of my op Almost all of my girlfriends, the the very close ones, the the, the women girl buddies, you know, we all had abortions. So now there's a twist in history. Now, because of political correctness, you know, with the, with Adolf Hitler, now people are like extra scared. We don't want to. Be identified with that anymore no 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 we're good we are we're so politically correct we're so lenient let's bring in all the Muslim refugees we need to be good we're not anti-semitic we're no we're not well we want nothing to do with Adolf Hitler you know there's one thing of being not anti-semitic 
and being reasonable, okay? thinking with the prefrontal cortex. That means if you really think reason, then the, if he, anyone who is politically correct cannot think with total reason, obviously. Political correctness has to do with that's a that's a group fear that people have identified themselves with, you know, like group think that has indoctrinated people, then they have identified themselves with that. Like I am a liberal or I am whatever, you know, I am progressive or, and that's not even progressive, you know. So that's not even liberal in the true sense of liberal, what the word means. You know. Liberal comes, liberal means free, free thinking. They're not free thinking. Liber is, that word is, old Latin means book. Okay. You read a bunch of books, you become mentally free. Most people don't do that, okay? They can't even call themselves real liberals in that way. So no liberal is really... I mean, very few liberals have read a lot of books. So I would say today there's more Republicans or, or more conservatives that had, have read a lot of books. The tide has changed, you know. It was reversed in the 80s, so today's this has completely turned inside out and upside down because there's always movement in society things are never stagnated you know there because of influx of refugees who bring in a mind state that Europeans were in 500 years ago so they bring the past with them and then do we want to work again? Do we want to do this entire thing again? The entire women liberation process that people worked so hard for? Do we really want to roll this whole thing up again and again and again and again? Because of liberals that are identified with political correctness and whatever words they use for that, you know, that they try to peer pressure other people with. And it's being exploited to the fullest extent by the world bankers, by Chinese bankers, by US bankers, Russia, and the big Chinese bankers. They would rather even not know that. They, they would rather e e that you don't know about them. So there are people that are not on those most, the richest people lists. They don't want to be on that list because they're ashamed about exceeding all of these people on that list by, I don't know, by thousands of times, okay? There are, there are extreme billionaires. I don't know. I have the feeling there are trillionaires already, but they don't want you to know that. There are some that have become that rich during the Soviet Union, you know, that were among the apparatchiks. Apparatchik means the, the the machine that runs that system. You know, it's an it was an oligarchical system. They called it communist. Uh, turned out not to be communist. It turned out to be just a tyrannical dictatorship of a few. Right, that's all it was, because. Humans are not capable of of running a communist system, so they can't do it. So there is there is no communism; doesn't exist. People have never created it. If we if we really look at it closely, but you know, China, they pride themselves on it. They're not communists. That's a capitalist system. Okay obviously not very democratic either. Yes, you are my beautiful, beautiful God, are you? That is what you are. Yes. Oh, that is what you are. Come on the bed. Come show yourself. Come sit with me. 
sit with me here. So what I'm afraid of now is that all that hard work of feminists is going to get rolled back, back into the stone ages by Muslim men and their women who are enablers. Okay, I talked to many of those. Oh, I feel like, whoa, do you have like a brick in your head or something? Yeah, come here, come on. Very excellent. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, is this so? You want to see French kissing? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to show that. <laughs> he pries my, he pries into my, into my mouth. Yes, this is what he does. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, yes. I know you are my nurse. I needed this so desperately. Oh, I, I need a dog so desperately. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Oh, ow, my boobs. Oh, baby. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. You did that hurt. Yeah, see yourself. Oh, by the way, we were watching. American Staffordshire Bull Terriers, which Paul thinks he is. I don't think he is. Well, he doesn't look exactly like them. He looks like he's mixed with American Bully and... <laughs> I don't know. He's He looks a little different to all of them. I think he is a mix. I think he's a mix. I want to have to put this like there. I think he is a mix of definitely American Staffordshire Bulldog, probably, and Bull Terrier, and And other, he has an enormously wide mouth, and this particular face is, <laughs> and the nose is longer. You see, you can see that. So the muzzle is longer, longer, <laughs> longer than those American Staffordshire Bull Terrier. He has different ones mixed in. Yes, you see yourself. So what happened earlier, we were watching these YouTube videos on the different dog breeds. And there was one who looked very similar to him moving around. And I first he didn't see the video. And then I said to him, do you see the dog in the video? You see it in the video, like this, and he started to look, and then, oh my gosh, the forehead wrinkled up. He looked, and he got all excited, and he jumped with his feet onto my keyboard. He looked, and he wanted to, he wanted to play with that dog in the video, and he pushed like with his nose towards, <laughs> towards the screen. That was that was amazing. He actually saw. He recognized the dog in that video. 
So he's really, really smart. No, you can't have the uh, you can't have the electronics thing. No, you can't. He wants to get he wants to chew my my back massager. No, you cannot chew that. They cannot have that one. Okay. That you can't have. That is that's not even safe. So no, we don't want to. Get, don't want. Don't. Don't, <laughs> don't want. To, don't want that. No, that is. I'm gonna have to hide that. No, cannot have that. I, we have to train him. Yeah, see, oh baby booty, look at that booty, yeah. <laughs> booty. No, cannot, no, cannot, no, 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 cannot, absolutely not, cannot. No, no, mm -mm -mm -mm. no, no way. No, that's not safe at all. No, that's not safe. No, you cannot help, you cannot help. Cannot. Oh! <laughs> no, you cannot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cannot have this. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Mm. <laughs> it's a ferocious kisser. It's a ferocious kisser. Yeah, he needs. To, he needs to have things to. To. He needs to be occupied with stuff. I don't know where the rawhide bone. You wanna, we gotta find the rawhide bone for you. So, but I can't get up right now. I need to make this video. So anyway, I wanna talk about the invasion of refugees because of political correctness. And that's an, a very unfortunate movement. And I tried to talk sense into people on the internet, but it seems very, very difficult to do that. So <sighs> that's why I talk about this in my videos, because at least here I can lean back on my couch. I don't have to struggle with anyone. I just say it the way it is. So, political correctness from the side of the Northern Europeans and the, the Western type of people, and then giving in to fully, 100%, giving in to Muslim men who have evolved to be, this is very politically incorrect for me to say, but the majority of them have, they have evolved to be an elbow character. They elbowed each other away from the water sources. Okay. The ones that elbowed the most got the water sources, they proliferated their genes. It's very simple, all of this. It's, it's evolution. It is highly politically incorrect, of course. Anyone talking about this gets threatened. But it's uh, still the truth. Three, 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 three. The blue god agrees with me. So that's the truth, what I said. The infinite cosmos is about truth. Okay. So if you want to kid yourself about these things, then you're in it for some harsh awakening moments. Don't do it. You have to look. At, you have to look at the facts. There are always exceptions. Okay, there are some amazing people in the Middle East. There are some incredible angel souls in the Middle East, but they're they're even more rare. They are much more rare than the even than here and even here they're rare so you know that's how that's what it is okay let's just face re reality you know let's face the truth about things and so we have to be realistic in order to assess a situation you know we can't say oh because we owe these people, I don't even know these people, 
we owe these people uh, some kind of historic repair. Let's bring them in, let them take over our country, rape our women, kill everyone, burn our houses down. Mm, no, no. I'm not on board of that. Sorry. No, 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 no. That's not going to make the world a better place. You have to be assertive and you have to stand your ground and you have to set boundaries. This is very, very important. That starts already with your private personal psychology. Okay. In your private personal life, even on the internet, you know, if you meet someone, if you talk to people in any kind of political setting or something, you have to stand your ground and you have to stand up for yourself psychologically. It's very important. And you have to say, say what is on your mind and say the way it is. Say it the way you feel it and the way it really is. Not say it to appease someone else or to fit in with the group or to be liked by someone or by by or be not be looked down on by some society okay so obviously we have to stand our ground and we have to say this is how it is this is how i feel okay very important work all of this starts in your own room on your own couch or to your own mind, you with your own mind. Okay. I sit here with my own mind. Do I give in to someone else just to be liked? Hell no. Okay. N never, 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 never. Even if I will be shunned or whatever, bullied or excluded, doesn't matter. Yeah, then I can cry about that. That's where I start. Okay. They shun me. Let me cry about it. Let me sit here cry, not giving in, appeasing, doing whatever Enigma asked me or WC asked me. You need to be meaner. You need to be, you need to, or my mother, you need to make yourself unavailable. No. Maybe they even mean well. They're like, this is a glimpse of compassion. I want to help you. You need to be more mean or whatever. Yeah, but that doesn't make the world a better place. Okay. So someone has to start being nice and being vulnerable and being themselves and also setting boundaries. So this is a very rare concept and a rare combo for most people. Okay, most people are like, they either give in and then they give in all the way and they let everyone take over their lives. And they call that nice. That's what the Stockholm Syndrome people do. That's what the liberals do. That's what the politically correct people want to do. That doesn't go anywhere. Absolutely goes nowhere. Okay. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for your daughter. And you have to tell your daughter, I will not allow you to go to Afghanistan to be gang raped and then killed by Sharia law, by whatever, by Al-Qaeda or whatever. The, they have different groups that are fighting among each other and get all involved in this mess. I'm not letting my daughter go to Afghanistan, okay? So oh, I wouldn't even let my child go on the internet until they're 18 and not even then. That would be, I would have to really homeschool them good and all of these things. I mean, I really have to, oh, I have to do 15 years of rigorous training with them before I let them go into the world. And then I will tell them, if you want to take drugs, if you want to mutilate yourself, if you want to go with a psychopath, if you want to go into a psychopathic nation, don't involve me into it. 
keep me out of that. That's your life. But as your mother, as as your best friend, take my advice to heart. Okay, the fifteen years of boot camp, <laughs> of of rigorous, rigorous training sessions with my children. If I had, if I had children, you know. I had more sense than that than putting children into this rough world. But if I if I had a child, trust me, that's what I would do. Or there would be no way around it. I w I I I'll be fierce, okay? I will not leave let my child get near any of these peer pressure groups with drugs, with political correctness. Okay. I would train my child to pay attention to these things. Psychology will be the number one theme, okay, to teach them, so that they know what to expect when they go out into the world. Okay, they know how to an identify things. They know how to recognize how people are. Okay, and they know how to defend themselves and stand up for themselves. So, but that's not the case with most people, obviously. I think what I'm talking about here, I think that you can count those people that do that on one hand or maybe two hands. We have over 8 billion humans, so most people don't. They don't even know the dangers. The mother was probably busy with boyfriends or alcohol or partying while the daughter gets groomed on the internet into taking a plane trip to Afghanistan, meeting her boyfriend who's waiting there with his ten other buddies that are all wait, ready to rape her one after another until she bleeds. Women have died from that, okay? And then the, their government and then they're, they're, in the, they're in total battle and then she gets totally drawn into this total chaos and war and then she gets executed by the government. So just, you know, wake up moments. Those those are this is like red flag wake up time, you know. Wake up to become realistic about this. But you, know, this is not the information that you get from CNN, not even Fox News, who, who claim to be more right wing. It it was all reversed in the past. Fox News was used to be the misleading news source, okay, fully corporate. Then someone took, someone else took over. I heard the son of the, the person who was running it. And he is a compassionate person. So, and he's on the side of truth. So now it has become more truthful, much more truthful. Okay. And they need to be careful who they hire also. Very important. And then the other ones that used to be kind of liberal, kind of be more on the side of truth, at least in the 60s and 70s, maybe early 80s, that all started to change gradually, and now it's reversed. Okay, Now it's Fox News that is more reliable than all the other ones. Don't get me wrong here. I am not a conservative, but I'm not a liberal either, Okay, and never will be. I will never be on board of any hate group of any kind of side. I won't, I will not, okay? Being on any kind of side or in any kind of group or any kind of nation adherence or religion adherence is dualistic. It does not go anywhere, okay? Very, very important. So my message for women is stand your ground. Don't be a Stockholmer. Don't give in. Don't be masochistic. Clear that up. 
Heal that, okay? Go into your own mind. Do the inwardness meditation process. That's all I can say, you know. If you don't do it, you're on your own. You're going to get beaten down to the ground. You're going to get literally pushed over. I don't even want to say it. So many have died. Many women have died because they gave in to their psychopathic boyfriends. I don't give in to that. A man hits me once, finished. Finished for good. There's no, there's no turning back. He can stand there all night long in front of my door and say, Nicola, I can hear you. What are you doing? Are you clipping your fingernail? Nicola, open the door. I went, come in. It's Javad here. Nicola, Nicola. Javad here from Iran. Nicola, I went, come in. No more pussy? No. No. Sorry. Finished. Go somewhere else. Take somebody else, okay? So that's how it goes, okay? And I highly recommend it to other people too. Stand your ground, okay? Really seriously. I am pro egalitarianism, okay? I'm a feminist. I want equal rights for everyone. I'm not a militant feminist. I'm I'm not turning it around. I'm not gonna enslave men, okay? They have feelings too. We all have feelings, we're on eye level. Okay, let's make it work. Let's be kind to each other. This is so incredible. And be kind to dogs. Okay? Very, very important. Very important. Okay, so my dog is a peace activist, as you can see in the video. That's why I will always have an, in my video when he wants to. We'll always make a show together here for peace and for love and for equal rights and eye level living okay you guys take care bye bye